a sidewalk or a dirt path. She's been totally blind for more than a decade, but Linda Morford is now able to see with the help of a bionic eye. A camera built into these glasses and an implant behind her retina allow her to see a crude image of her surroundings. It's brought her closer to her loved ones. I can shoot baskets with my grandson and I can see my granddaughter dancing across the stage so I can see things, <laughs> you know. The Argos implant was invented by the Doheny Eye Institute in Los Angeles and the company Second Sight. The camera captures images and converts them into an electrical signal which is then transmitted wirelessly to an implant behind the retina. The electrodes in the implant unscramble the signal to create a crude black and white image which is then relayed along the optic nerve to the brain. This really shows how quickly the technology is marching on. This was the prototype just six years ago. Four electrodes giving the most basic of images. This is what Linda has. 16 electrodes giving slightly more detail. But now, patients are getting this. 60 electrodes offering much more complex images going into the eye. This though, this is what scientists are working on now. 1,000 electrodes that should even allow facial recognition. And in the future, who knows, perhaps even color. Sky News has learnt that a higher resolution version of Linda's device was last week fitted to two British patients. Their identities have been protected while surgeons at London's Moorfields Hospital monitor their progress. They were assisted by the American pioneers. It has the four times the resolutions and, and, and I think that's an added plus and so whether, I think it will be a mobility device. I don't think you'll get reading out of it, I don't think you'll get face recognition out of it but it'll be a device for mobility. And so how far does it go in mobility? Does somebody need to use a cane with it? Can somebody use it without a cane? These are all questions that are very interesting that we're waiting to answer. In the Californian lab, the doctors have also miniaturized the technology. These little arms hold it inside the eye. This camera is small enough to fit inside the eyeball and could be implanted within three to five years. The bionic eye was once science fiction, but it's fast becoming reality, giving new hope to blind people. Thomas Moore, Sky News.